Divorce is hard. Love is hard. All those things were so personal. They weren't for mass consumption. Imagine getting caught cheating and having the whole world know about it. Sounds like something completely unimaginable, right? Well, not completely unimaginable for Meg Ryan. While she was married to Dennis Quaid, her affair with Russell Crowe was published all over the Hollywood tabloids. What followed was a messy divorce and Meg's ruined reputation. While Dennis seemed to have moved on from the wreckage of his first marriage, is it true that Meg was never able to recover the pieces of her career or her broken heart? You're watching Rumor Juice. For more videos like this, please make sure to subscribe to our channel and remember to give that notification bell a click too so that you can be the first to know when we upload new juicy content. Meg and Dennis met on the set of Inner Space and they quickly sparked a romance. But it wasn't smooth sailing from the get-go of their relationship because Dennis was facing a demon he wasn't ready to tackle yet. While the actor was having a successful career, that same couldn't be said about his personal life. Dennis has been open about his battle with substance abuse which already started back in the 70s. It starts out fun and then there's fun with problems and then there's just problems. It was during the height of his deadly addiction that the couple started dating. Quaid described it as having an epiphany and said he knew he would either end up losing everything he loved or dying if he didn't get control of the substances that were crippling his life. So after the two got engaged, Dennis made a tough decision of going to rehab to recover from his addiction. And Meg was there, by his side, every step of the way. There is no denying, though, that having to support a partner through rehab so early on in the relationship can add stress that many other couples don't have to deal with. Instead of spending their engagement planning weddings and swooning over one another, Quaid was in rehab going through withdrawals, and Ryan was doing her best to keep a brave face through it all. After they wed and her husband was trying to get sober, the actress was filming the movie When a Man Loves a Woman, where she played the role of an alcoholic woman. She admitted that the part gave her a perspective on what Dennis was going through during the peak of his addiction and it helped her empathize with his daily struggle. For the next few years of their marriage, the couple took over Hollywood as one of the hottest pairs to walk the red carpet. He was one of the most handsome men in Hollywood, and she was the charming, funny, blonde bombshell. They appeared to be inseparable, and with the birth of their son, Jack, it seemed like nothing could ever go wrong. Their careers were also on the rise. You remember Meg Ryan, don't you? Of course you do! She was the rom-com queen of the 90s, bringing us classics like When Harry Met Sally and Sleepless in Seattle. You might be even a little more familiar with Dennis Quaid. He was the heartthrob of the same period, with a smile that drove us all crazy. He won fans' hearts with his roles in The Parent Trap, starring alongside the young Lindsay Lohan and Something to Talk About with the stunning Julia Roberts. Meg and Dennis were seemingly riding the high on their romance and their careers until it all quickly came crashing down. The couple divorced over 20 years ago, but it's only now that Meg has decided to set the record straight on their split and make sure that everyone knows the real story. Ryan used to be everyone's favorite movie sweetheart for many years, but nowadays we don't really hear or see that much of her. The divorce from her first husband, Dennis Quaid, seemed to have painted Meg as a scarlet woman and moved her into the shadows. I never felt like I was all that concerned with what people thought of me, but then that story never got told right. In early 2000, rumors that the couple's marriage was on the rocks were starting to spread. At the time, the press knew almost nothing of what was going on behind Meg and Dennis's closed doors. It wasn't until Ryan was spotted with her Proof of Life co-star, Russell Crowe, cozying up with one another offset that the public put two and two together. If the married couple was going through a rough patch and Meg was seemingly canoodling with another man, then she must have been having an affair. He was there for a few months and, and, uh, and you know, I didn't leave my marriage for Russell Crowe. I mm -hmm. left my marriage. Because your marriage wasn't working. My marriage was not working. Yeah. Soon, the news of the pair's divorce was announced, which sent Hollywood into shambles. How could one of the most beloved celebrity couples have called off their nine-year marriage? It was almost too painful for the public to fathom. Dennis admitted that the circumstances were so public that he even got a call from then-President Bill Clinton. 
He called me from Air Force One. I don't know how he found me, but he did. He just wanted to let me know he was thinking of me. Fans also had to find someone to blame, and because Meg had already made her relationship public with Russell, they branded her a cheater. I feel like you can never really win in the, in the way a tabloid tells a story. It's a very black and white, very overly simplistic moral universe. It seemed that Meg and Russell weren't meant to last since they called it quits just a few months later. Friends close to the pair at the time said that Russell was very serious about Meg and wanted to marry her, but she hadn't had enough time to heal the wounds her divorce had left behind. Russell didn't want to break up the marriage. He was definitely there at the end, but it wasn't his fault. I was a mess. I hurt him too at the end. I couldn't be in another long relationship. It wasn't the time for that, so I got out. For years, the actress suffered under the Scarlet Woman label, and her career never seemed to recover from the unforgiving tabloids. It wasn't until almost 10 years later that the actress confronted all the allegations of her divorce from Dennis and her relationship with Russell. My marriage was a very unhealthy marriage. I probably should have left it much earlier. It was never about another man. The actress had also admitted that her former husband hadn't been faithful to her during their marriage and that her fame also took a toll on their relationship. The actor struggled to come to terms with the fact that his wife was more famous than he was. We'd go out on the streets of New York and it would be like, Meg, Meg, and I have to admit it, I actually did feel like I disappeared. I didn't think that I was small, but I was, Dennis said about Meg's rise to fame. However, when Dennis was asked about having cheated on Meg during their marriage, the actor was completely shocked and denied it all. I find it unbelievable that Meg continues to publicly to rehash and rewrite the story of our relationship. Quaid also said that he was disappointed by the fact that their son, Jack, had to be reminded of his parents' messy split all over again by the tabloids. Despite everything that Meg has had to say about their marriage, the actor has kept all his comments short and polite. He said that his ex-wife is a beautiful and courageous woman, and he spent a lot of time grieving the loss of their companionship. The actor even confessed that he still loves Meg, and that nothing could take away from him the 13 years they spent together. In the meantime, Ryan battled to pick up the pieces of her shattered career. Her role in the 2003 film In the Cut was met with terrible reviews, so she decided it was time to take a step back from the spotlight and focus on her personal life. I was burned out. I didn't feel like I knew enough anymore about myself or the world to reflect it as an actor. I felt isolated. So what's come of the two actors after all these years? Well, Dennis recently announced his marriage to third wife, Laura Savoy, who is 27 years his junior. Yeah, this why, is that, why, why do you say that? How do I you just, know? You just, I just know. I really found a partner in life. Uh-huh. Yeah, she's just a... She's really I, smart. She's really fantastic. The pair eloped in June after their initial plans to wed in Hawaii had to be canceled due to the COVID-19 pandemic. He described his relationship with his new wife as love at first sight and said he's never been able to connect with anyone like he has with Laura. On the other hand, it seems like Meg hasn't been as lucky in love. She and musician John Mellencamp have just recently called off their engagement after a rocky on and off again roller coaster dating back to 2011. Having been married three times before, John admitted that he no longer wanted to get married again no matter how much he loves her. It's not clear how important it was for Meg to tie the knot, but as for now, it's unknown where she stands with her ex-fiance. When it comes to Hollywood divorces, we will never really know what happens behind closed doors. We can do as much digging as we can, but the truth lies with the broken hearts that are left scattered all over the celebrity world. Did Meg deserve the backlash that she faced during her divorce? Do you think Russell had anything to do with the couple split? Or was Dennis really the bad guy all along? We'll leave that for you juicers to decide. As always, we are eager to see your opinion in the comment section below. And do tell us which topic we should cover next. Behind the scenes dramas of your favorite shows? Why did this seemingly perfect couple break up? How come this Hollywood hottie is still alone? Who holds the title of the most fan-friendly celebrity? Make your voice heard and we at Rumor Juice will make sure you are never bored. Subscribe to our channel and don't forget to tell your friends how cool we are.